Hey guys, hey folks. So we're just gonna. I wanted to make my own spot welding tip. This is the ordinary tip off the uh, Lincoln Welder MIG gun. I think it's called the Magnum 100L. My idea is uh, I got this three quarter to half inch reducer or coupling, and we're going to. Uh, get it to fit a little better and what we want is basically something like that. We want three-eighths of an inch between, uh, between a quarter and half an inch. So I'm going to slide it on this uh, old school screwdriver, use it kind of like a mandrel and hit it with my hammer and bang it around try and make some room for the tip to uh, fit. Alright, so we'll see how that goes. Be right back. seems like all we got to do is put it on our tip and then tap it into place. What we might do is pinch this down a bit later. Now we're just going to uh, cut a few slots in here so we can see where our tip is. And that way, uh, we'll know our stick out and all that good stuff. Cool. All right, so we're just going to cut some. We're going to cut two slots in one way and two another way. So it'll be like four out of it. And we'll see what's going on. I'll cut two and see how it looks. Alright, I'm just going to go with two slots, one bigger than the other. I can always add more later, I guess. I'll clean this up and we'll see how it looks in the gun. Alright, so when you're done, you've got the tip basically just a friction fit, basically just jammed on your nozzle. And uh, I pinched it in a little bit just to help. Um, but it, I think it'll come off fairly easily. Um, then just thread it on your egg gun, and uh, away you go. Fortunately, I don't have a chance, haven't had a chance to test it out. But um, let's see if we can get this to focus. Yeah, so basically the idea is you'd want to center your that wire over your pre-drilled hole and the window lets you see that you're in the right place and then you can spot weld with a consistent gap between the tip and what you're welding and uh so, yeah, I just thought I'd give it a try without having to uh, order the one sold by Lincoln or Eastwood and uh, see if it works. And it would probably be handy, too, if you're kind of working in a tight space where it's hard to make sure you've got your angle, your uh, gap right, that kind of thing. And anyway, so, yeah, so that's it for a couple of bucks. You can make your own and see if you like it and then.
go from there. All right. If you like this video, thanks for watching. If you liked it, uh, feel free to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. All right. Take it easy. Thanks, folks.